All right, so this is the last one of these videos I'm going to be doing. And if you haven't seen the other ones, these last few weeks I've been doing really just obscure ranking videos of every single member of different species of Mario character things. And this time for this last one, I'm doing the Goombas. So this is going to be a tier list of every single Goomba. And like the others, it's going to serve as a way to just also showcase every single Goomba. So to get right into it, we've got the F tier, which has two things, very similar things, the Stiletto and the Shoe Goomba, which are just borderline kind of dumb looking. Moving into the D tier, we've got the Skating Goomba, which is very similar, but winter aesthetic, so it's better automatically. The Shiny Cone Goomba, which is just like an eyesore. The Rhinestone Goomba, which, you know, it's got sunglasses on, but it just kind of looks dumb, and it's from Hotel Mario, so yeah. Professor Frankly... I'm um, never really a fan of these goofy, crazy-looking glasses. Pirate Goomba, and design-wise, they're not that bad. It's just the fact that their only purpose is to be really stupid and annoying in the one map that they appear in, Mario Party 8. Then we've got the Prickly Goomba from New Super Mario Bros. Wii, and it's only really down here just for the fact that it appears in one of the hardest levels ever. We've got the Paper Cone Goomba, which is just as weird as the last Paper Cone thing. The Mural Goomba, which is disgusting. The Masked Ghoul, which I don't even know how this counts as a Goomba, but I guess it does. The Inner Tube Goomba, which is just kind of lazy because it's somehow a different species or subsect, even though it's literally just a Goomba on a raft. The Hefty Goomba, which is a slightly bigger Goomba. The Gritty Goomba, which is this very annoying variant from Superstar Saga. Goompa, which is this old Goomba from Paper Mario. Goombo, which is this knockoff Goomba from Mario Land. Goombeetle. Goombario. And I do want to say I'm mainly doing this off of their design. I haven't actually played Paper Mario. He's probably a cool guy. I just, I can't really judge the, some of these off their personalities or who they are. Especially since most of them are just generic enemies, so they don't even have personalities. So again, this is mainly just based on design. We've got the Goomba Tower, which is literally just a stack of Goombas. The Ghost Goomba, which just looks very dumb. The Elite Gritty Goomba. The Dark Spiked Goomba. I don't I don't like the fact that these are even things. It's literally just the shadow of a enemy. The Dark Goomba. The Beanie, which is apparently a Goomba variant. I guess that's just because it's a generic plant enemy. But it's here anyway. Then we've got the Armored Goomba, which literally just has a pan on its head. The Aqua Goomba, which looks very dumb. The Accordion Goomba, the Dark Para Goomba, the Para Beanie, and the Gooma. Or I guess not the, just literally Gooma, because it's a singular character. Moving to the seat here, we've got the Goomba Bros, which is just a group of paper Goombas. The Tail Goomba, the Spiked Goomba, Prongo, which is a Goomba, I guess. Pest Nut, which is very similar to the Prickly Goomba, but not as annoying, because it's not in an impossible level. The Paper Macho Goomba, as well as the Paper Macho Goomba Outlaw. These things are kind of cool, it's just at the same time I feel like I'm looking at like an empty FNAF exoskeleton suit. The Octumba, the Mega Goomba, which is just that specific boss from New Super Mario Bros, but again, it's just a large Goomba. Mick Goomba, as well as Goomfer, Goomfree, and Goomez, which are all just apparently the same exact thing. Jacko Goomba, which has a pumpkin on its head. Goom Diver, which is a much better looking version of that Aqua Goomba from earlier. Goom Bet, which is weird. Goomba Wheel. Goom Goom, which is also the same thing as that, like five other dudes with hats from earlier. The Crinkle Goomba, which is just a paper Goomba that is folded, I guess. Captain Goomba. The Big Tail Goomba, which is just, you know, a big tail Goomba. The Bellhop Goomba. And then the Paragoomba, just that generic general thing, and the shiny Paragoomba. Moving into the B tier, we've got the Triplets, the Small Goomba Gang, the Shrooblet, the Shiny Goomba, the Pro Goomba, Private Goomp, the Papercraft Mega Crinkle Goomba, a very long name for some reason. It's pretty much just like Paper Goom Boss. Then just the generic Paper Goomba itself, the Octo Guy. The mini Goomba, and this picture, I don't know why it's yellow. Usually they're just like a mini Goomba, but if it's mini, then I guess it's kind of cute, so yeah. The Mega Sparkle Goomba, now this is literally just like paper Goomboss, but at the same time it's not. 
the mad goomba goom papa goom mama which i guess is that dude's wife or something the gold beanie and even though the beanie itself kind of looks kind of stupid and ugly gold is epic giant goomba which honestly looks pretty cool elite pest nut as well as the elite octumba the elite goombule and the dreamy goomba which is just like a blue goomba the cat goomba the captain goomba but this time the one from mario and luigi and not from mario party the bone goomba the two-fold goomba the mad red para goomba and lastly the paper para goomba Moving into the A tier, we start to get some actually cool designs, like the Tush Ruba, which has a really nice color scheme, the Spiky Gloomba, which also does, the Sad Goomba, the Octo Boo, the Hyper Spiky Goomba, the Hyper Goomba, just the regular one, the Gromba, Goomboss himself, Goombella, Gold Para Goomba, as well as Gold Mini Goomba, Gold Goomba Tower, and just the regular Gold Goomba, because Gold is epic, Gloomba, Dromba, the five-fold Paragoomba, and normally I would say this looks kind of dumb, but I actually kind of like it. The Hyper Paragoomba, the Paragloomba, and the Sad Paragoomba. And finally, we have three Goombas for S tier. The Head Bonk Goomba, which is this white Goomba, which I honestly think looks pretty cool. The Goombule, which is this really cool jelly-like Goomba from Mario and Luigi. And lastly, the best of them all in my opinion, the Chumba. It's this epic, fiery, furnace-looking Goomba with, like, a steam stack head. And this thing has literally only appeared in, like, one Mario and Luigi game, but still, it looks really epic. So anyway, that's probably gonna be all I do for these random, like, Mario thing variant tier lists. But I do have other ideas to come. I'm in a state now where it's a lot harder for me to make videos, but I'm still gonna try and do it, because why not? So yeah, for now, if you like this, consider liking, commenting, and subscribing, and thanks for watching.